let me add you, <clears throat> after I heard the, your speech, Mark, I would add another characteristic, um, <clears throat> critical, to be critical, what, 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 whatever the inputs you get. So um, I got it from your, from your presentation, which I also would like to add. It. Okay, uh, I have 15 minutes to talk about, um, well, um, we talk about employment in this, in this seminar, we talk about uh, education, and then I always talk about identity. So that was my challenge when I, uh, let's talk about employment, about education, and always try to uh, talk about identity. <clears throat> let's see. Employment, today is not the day, so a few words. When you look at the world nowadays, uh, there are two economical models that you can use. There are, basically, there are two. Eh? There is open market economies and control economies. Eh? Open market means that the products float around and we freely decide which one we want and then we pay. And this is open market economy. It's also called capitalism. Eh? That's basically one way. There is another way, uh, which is... Um, Plan economies. I mean, there is not many, not many, many still working, but there are. Eh? So, is there is somebody? I mean, the Russians know very well because it's recently they had that. Eh? So, somebody decides how much is the, pro the price for products, for services, etc. And this is a way to manage the economy. Um, which one is creating more dignity for people? Just few words. The from my understanding, the capitalist system, eh? but now we realize that this system has to be like some way controlled, because if we let it float freely, then we create major problems, eh? like the banks do whatever they want, and so the politicians, they become corrupt, etc. So we have to control that. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that, because this, this was yesterday. Eh? Let's talk about education. <coughs> education. Same thing as the economy, basically. In the world, there are, I would say, two main models. Not more than that. Eh? Um, one model is a model of universities, let's use universities, where to get in there, uh, they are very selective. Eh? So if you have money, you pay, and then you get in. Eh? And then they can give you like small services, attentive services, individual services, then also these universities, they, che they check if you are talented. They make very difficult ways to get in there. So if you are talented, you get in there. And if you are able to pay the fees, you get in there. These universities, this model, is very successful at creating top, top leaders. So because their excellency of this university system goes to create leaders that are going to lead the society after. For instance, we have here, the, the, they produce Zuckerbergs. Eh? They produce in Yale, they produce Zuckerbergs that are bright guys, that they invent Facebook, and then they re may reshape the world. They produce Gates, eh? they, they, that, that they are able to invent Microsoft because they are talented with money, etc., and then they, they lead the society to extremes of dignity. Eh? That's the model. No, 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 I'm not, I'm just stating it. Eh? This is one way. Uh, there is another way, like in the, in the economy there is capitalist and communist ways to simplify it. In, in education there is this model of extremely uh, sophisticated, selective people by money or by talent aiming to create top guys that will lead the society to higher peaks of development. Okay, this is one model of universities. The second one is the, the second model of the university is the one I would like to focus now. Is the model where uh, it's not selective in terms of money. It's selective because it's, it's, it's free. It's public universities, yeah? so you get in there with low budgets you get in there. Talent, they are access, you access there with talent, but not necessarily high levels of talent. So they are trying to make the universities available for, for many people, because we are not 
uh, also talented. We are a limited amount of people around the world. Eh? Zuckerberg, there, are, there is one, but we are mainly with less amount of talent and we don't have all the money to get there. So how can you not be so selective on talent? Well, allowing large amount of people to be trained. So this is public university, is a, an access to a university system where money is free or almost free and then levels of talents are not so discriminating because uh, they accept large amount of people. And what happened with this model that I presented like this, like garbage, no? Garbage, no, eh? It's, for me, it's the best. Because that system, what makes is very solid societies. It creates a public university in Barcelona, where you are today, where uh, um, maybe we will have some Zuckerbergs, maybe. I don't know. But I don't care, basically. Eh? Because what, what, what I think we will get from that university is tons of people well-educated with bright minds that probably are not very bright, but since they were not very bright, but they got tools in the university because they gave them tools, now they can compete with the bright guys. Bright guys, they don't go to the university and they succeed, but people that is not very bright, I mean, if you discriminate that person by not being to the university, well, is, is not very bright and doesn't, doesn't have tools to compete. So the universities, public universities, massives, eh? let me use a, a, a negative word, they produce some stability in the society that creates small business jobs, small entrepreneurs, uh, opens their mentality, so makes the society very stable. So this model, this second model, not the, the so um, discriminating, the, this more, let's say, common public model, it's very good because it makes the societies very stable. Okay? So now I covered education, I covered employment, and now identity, my favorite topic. Eh? Uh, the reason why I like to be here, because it's, I like to talk about identity. Okay, identity, universities, and creating jobs, eh? because we, we have to stick to the program, basically, no? So, identity and creating jobs with the university. Wow, I was thinking, what, what can I say on that? Eh? Because, well, I have an idea. Basically, the idea is the following. Uh, one of the challenges that we are facing in our societies nowadays, the Spanish society and the Russian society and the Kosovian society and the Greek society and the North-South Tyrol society eh, uh, and the Catalan society, you know that we, today we, the, our parliament proclaim independence. So you are not in Spain today, you know that. Eh? You are in Catalonia today. Eh? So, I mean, measure... And one of the leaders of that movement is the, the guy that spoke yesterday here in this floor. Eh? Uh, anyway, so um, problems with identity. Eh? So our society, we have to deal with different identities continuously. This is today's world. I mean, eh? so, uh, so how, can, how can the university can help to cope with this and, and coping with this, getting new jobs and employments. That's my, my, my idea. Okay, how can we do that? Well, the society it's, uh, has problems similar. If we take the model of education that I, am, I really want to focus from now until my remaining ten min five minutes, I will focus on the public model. Eh? This bulk people sitting in the classroom like the, the, like the Middle Ages, eh? which, by the way, it's, if it's been lasting from the Middle Ages until, to, until now, maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> eh? I, I would put it that way. Eh? And let me, I defend that model because I am part of that model, so of course I. And I really want the, my students to take exams. I do want them. I pass all very easy exams, by the way. They, they, my, my, my subject is very easy because, because I don't believe very much in exams. And the way not to believe very much is doing them and letting them pass freely. Eh? <laughs> So this is, is, this is my, my strategy. Anyway, identity. Identity, so the university can be like a little laboratory for identity. That's what I think. It can be like a little laboratory where you learn 
you learn things that then you can export it to the society and make the society better because you practice in the university. That is the idea. And then what do you experience in this laboratory? What do you experience in this laboratory? Well, few things. Let me go to the... First, you have to understand that multiculturalism is not a threat. It's not a threat. Eh? I mean, why we had Charlie Hebdo problem in Paris? That it was mentioned yesterday in the presentation. Because we have multicultural societies? No. No, no, no. There is not empiric evidence of this case. What we had is a society, France, that is not able to really deal properly with multiculturalism. Because societies like Canada, that they are doing a good job on that, they are able to get inputs. So it's not the threat of being multicultural societies. It's an opportunity. Eh? So careful with that. Let's, I, rem I remain, I, I will... Read what I've written in this. No empiric evidence exists to show that violence acts take place as a result of max mixing cultures. Eh? And I, Charlie Hebdo is not necessarily, as it was said in many newspapers in France, that is the result of multiculturalism. No, no, no. It's the result of improper multiculturalism dealt in that society. That's basically the way I see it. So you could understand that in the universities and make, eh? <clears throat> then ideas that you continue. First one, multiculturalism is not a threat. It would be a threat if you don't deal with it properly. So what I'm trying to tell you is that if there is here some guy from Kosovo and someone from Serbia, um, there is a way to cooperate. Eh? If there is a Spanish guy in my case, and me that I, today I am Catalan, sorry, eh? you are not dealing with any Spanish from yesterday. Eh? Uh, uh, I'm very sorry, by the way, because I, I am becoming pretty alone. I am Spanish. I definitely am Spanish. Anyway, so um, first idea. Remember, every time you decide that you are something, identity, you are creating a crisis. Remember that. In the university, we should convey that message continuously. The minute you are Russian, you are not Ukrainian. The minute you're Spanish, you're not Catalan. The minute you are North Tyrolean, you're not Italian. The minute, okay? So careful because whenever you decide you are, you are creating crisis. I'm using the word crisis because I wanted to use a different word. Eh? I wanted to use, I use the, the words of Krishnamurti. I don't know, Mr. Krishnamurti, an Indian. I invite you to, to get this guy. That this, type this name in YouTube, eh? get General Assembly, the speeches that did this guy, and so he uses the word crisis, eh? and I like it. But if you go for, for Amartya Zen, eh? Amartya Zen, when talks about identity, talks identity and violence. So it's increasing the level. And uh, Amartya Zen, Nobel, Nobel Economy Prize, an Indian guy, lives in, in, in the UK. Hmm? And then I, I, if you want to increase identities that kill. This is Amin Malouf, a Lebanese guy that, I, that was in Barcelona last year. Ostras. <laughs> I, I put it on silence, not to do that. Okay, so if you go for uh, identity crisis, identity violence, identity that kill. Careful. When we have identities that you're Christian or you're Palestinian and you're Jew or if you're Christian and you're Muslim then here we start having identities that can go very much so careful when when realize that if you are you know, if this is identity eh? yesterday I was driving the car with the minister that came here I drove him to the ministry and then he said your identity is to be speak Catalan I said my identity is to speak Catalan Catalan is not my, is a language. I have a driving license, and, and so is another tool that I have, and I speak English, but identity, I'm not sure, is a language, so let's not make it so big. I mean, it's, uh, uh, my identity is to speak English, to speak Catalan, to have a driving license, etc. Eh? So careful with this. So first idea, 
when you decide identity, you're starting having crisis. Eh? So, uh, what can you do in the university in order to deal with crisis? Well, crisis, the only way to deal with it is um, debate. Debate. One minute? Okay. One minute. Debate. Eh? Crisis debate. So, talk about it. I mean, we have the six from India that they have their turbans, eh? and they don't want to use helmets in Barcelona because they are six and they cannot fit the helmet in their head. Eh? Well, I would agree with them. I would say, okay. But the problem is that the six, they have this uh, knife, their ceremonial knife, and they want to go with the university with this knife. Wow, for us, a knife is a weapon. Um, let's talk. Let's pact. Eh? Okay, women want to have the, the face covered. Well, it's cold, it's nice, it's actually fashion sometimes because they are... But they have to have sexually uh, mutilated. 90% of women in Egypt are sexually mutilated. You know that, eh? 90% in Egypt. Eh? Uh, well, if you want to cover your head in the university, okay, but sexually mutilated, uh, let's pact. Okay? Sexually mutilation, you know what is it, no? Every, no, you don't know? You don't even know. Okay, good for you. Eh? <laughs> good for you. Eh? Like is, you know, men get circumcised, women get sexually motivated, and so they eliminate the possibility of having pleasure. Eh? That's sexually motivated. So 90% of women in Egypt, 90%, all of them. If this would happen in Egypt, all you will be dressed, in the, many of you would be with short leg things and showing a little bit your legs, which I think is nice. And... <laughs> But you will be sexually motivated. So it's really impressive. When I go to Egypt, I kept that in mind. Okay, so uh, crisis debate. Crisis debate. Pax. Crisis. Crisis. Uh, identity crisis. Uh, crisis with debate. You can get to agree. Eh? So, and then it's time? Almost. Okay, <laughs> almost. And then the, my, my last idea. Eh? And then, so, uh, debate to try to... Uh, get to a, an agreement, try to debate that in the universities because we can export that to the society that you're in. And then, uh, I'm sorry to inform you that the problem of identity is so big, it's so conflictive, that uh, there is even that we talk a lot, eh, like I did yesterday with the minister of Catalan thing in the car, I know that I didn't get anywhere. Eh? So since I know that with... Dealing with identities, convincing someone that is too Muslim not to be so much, or too Russian not to be so Russian, or too Spanish not to be so Spanish, or, eh? well, this is very hard. So what you can do is Pax. Pax is the only solution we have. So my last idea is bridge to Pax that we can export to the society outside the university. So the university then becomes much better. Eh? So... And um, my last words is, um, remember, uh, if you want to deal with identity in the university, I challenge you to be the new generation. And the new generation is like this. Eh? Uh, I hope that um, somebody introduced me as Joseph. My name is Joseph. I'm not sure. Eh? I'm not sure if my name is Joseph because my husband, my son, calls me daddy. My wife calls me hubby. So I guess I have many names. Eh? I am Spanish. Well, I tell you that today I discovered this morning that I am Catalan. So yesterday I was Spanish and today I'm not. So European, nobody knows what is to be European. Because we don't know. We are British, we are Scottish, we are... It's an area, so I'm, I am, I am, I'm, I'm not Catalan, I'm not Josep, I am not Spanish. Uh, I, I think I am Muslim because I don't drink much wine. So, since I don't drink wine, I guess I am a little bit Muslim. So, I am not Spanish, I, I'm not Joseph, I'm not Catalan. A man, well, I like women, that's true, but a man, not really. So, men, Catalan, Spanish, identities is what I'm talking about. You should know that we are not one color identity. We are not one color, blue, Spanish, no. We are a puzzle of identities. The minute you realize that you are a puzzle of identities, then is when you can make these universities work ahead. Because they will not 
identify with one color. The minute you practice all that system of puzzle of colors in your personal identity is when you can export that to the society. Thank you very much.